Hey hello everyone, I am back, second episode of the day, though I guess they will appear on different days when they're uploaded. I'm your host, Get Good Fox, and it's time for some more State of Decay 2. As you can see, I am loaded for bear, which means it must be Plague Heart Aroni time, and indeed it is. So, um... I think I'm just gonna disband those guys because, like, I don't—I just don't care about supply drops. I mean, maybe it's a huge mistake. Maybe supply drops are like super amazing, but yeah, um, we need to clear the way for for other benefits. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. Got ourselves a feral Roni over here. Not too big of a deal. So it's uh, it's about time we change bases again. However, we are waiting for those Zed hunting. For the army to come back. But like they say, people, you wait long enough underwater, and you're gonna drown. Thank you for the wisdom, good sir. But um, you know what? I might destroy the play guard first. I think that's a pretty good idea. Let me go ahead and squish this gate. And I'm gonna go ahead and activate my uh, my scent block. In we go. If it ain't the heat, it's the humidity. Oh, come on. Close the And let's locate the heart. Here it is. It's in this room, so I'm going to need to be in the other room to throw. That's fine. And now I should be able to throw, but not onto the... Oh. Oh, I... Annoying. Get out of here. Okay, so based on the angle, I'm going to need to do this a little differently. And we've got like a mountain of enemies popping in. That was the mistake of accidentally shooting. I have a feeling that we're just going to have to kill all these guys. Oh, or maybe not. Maybe not. Right there looks like a pretty good throw. Let's just squish these guys. These guys are just waiting to ruin everything. Okay. I think right there is a pretty good throw. So, in, in it goes. And let's get started. One. Two. Three. Very clean. I see, um, looks like three barrels. Nope, nope. Nope, you gotta stay on that side. You gotta burn. Nope, no coming over to this side. Wow, look at all these guys. <laughs> the, the fact that the play guards don't e explode when they die, that actually really makes a bit of a difference. Okay, these guys are all toast. Let's move on. Let's keep destroying some more of these like local hearts. And then we can just Actually, you know what? If I do all of this last, then what we can do is loot the hearts and sell to them anything that we don't need, and then we can uh, collapse the community. Seems like a pretty good idea. Oh, I remember this one. This was in that little shack. One of the least defended Plague Art locations. But uh, who knows how annoying it'll be to actually destroy it. Looks like it shouldn't be very annoying at all. Two. Nice and clean. Burn a few zombies for some uh, free hits of influence, although actually they don't give me much. Let's just move on to the next one. See you guys later. It's like they just think it's a friendly fire incident. They're like, oh man, like Joe Zombie over there, he's just like destroying our homes. Like, what a... Uh, what a tragic misunderstanding. Like, they think I'm just, like, one of them. And right over here. Let's see. Looks like it's in the house over there. So one of the benefits of this Echo Labs thing... I mean, I forgot how many plague samples we brought over here, so we're barely even using any. But if you were to cl clear out all of 
the the hearts and whatnot, uh, you know, you wouldn't really have many plague zombies remaining. Like, you wouldn't be able to get your samples very easily. And that's something that this would actually allow you to do. Like, you'd, it would allow you to continuously get samples even though, you know, you basically cut yourself off from the main supply, which is just random... random plague zombie kills. Come on. Y'all gotta burn. Nope, we can't have any of you guys here. Doesn't work that way. Okay, time to shut the door and locate the heart. In here, I assume? Yep, right in there. Let's give this guy the stab a -roni. The door shut a -roni. And firecrackers going in. Let me go ahead and shoot a shot over there real quick. One, two, three. Nice and clean. I just want to burn these guys again. I'm being, once again, I'm being consumed by video game violence. I just see all these, like, yellow contacts, and I'm like, I've got the ultimate weapon for destroying, like, nearly limitless numbers of zombies. And I have to do it. Ah, there is Mr. Farrell. I'm afraid you are too late. You have failed in your task. And I guess I'll just squish this last guy. Oh, two of them. That is technically not the end of the horde, so let me go in and... Must be someone in here. Ah, let's just grab this stuff. So what do we get? Samples. I got bad news. I didn't want to do it, but uh, Ray kept begging me. He knew we didn't have much longer, and uh, he didn't want to turn into one of those things. I made it quick. He didn't feel nothing. I guess that makes him the lucky one. That's it? No more dialogue? That that was a, a fairly clever piece of dialogue they had right there. Like, he didn't feel nothing, so I guess that makes him the lucky one. That's like, like it's like every now and then Undead Labs has, like, a, a glimpse of, like, good dialogue. It's just so inconsistent. But um, I don't know if that's the end of the story. Like, I know we're very close to it. That either is the end or... I, I don't know. I don't know if there might be like a, a farewell speech or something. This guy's gonna get the squisheroni. And now we can go ahead and sell some stuff and possibly make room for more inventory. Alive. Okay, so what are we selling? I don't want the screwdriver. I don't want the katana machete or the frag grenades or the backpack. That's actually not too bad. Let's throw the rest of this in the back. Oh. Katana Machete, also pretty good for selling. As you saw, like 60 influence, pretty good. And uh, let's go loot this one next door now. I think we sold about half the loot there, so I'm pretty Sounds confident that we should now. be able to... With a plague heart Although I am carrying this pistol last. as well. We'll see. Just depends on what we get. Second Plague Heart, we get samples of Bang. That we can sell. Another Katana Machete. King Vulture, we can probably sell that. I have a feeling that'll be worth a good bit. That stacks. Oh, but there, it doesn't stack quite. Oh, we got... That didn't matter. We had the three inventory. Can we call more? This yes, we can call more people in. Let's see if it works. To Rebecca in Springfield. She knows why. Anyone? I guess no one. They would have responded by now. Huh. I think we, we just need to knock some more people out. Okay. A friendly face. Um, the backpack, the katana machete, the knife. Oh yeah, look at this. Like it's worth one twenty-eight. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and sell that. Um, I, I I don't know what to say about the bullets, and I'm gonna sell the bullets. I don't care. Uh, I'm gonna sell the snacks. I'm just gonna sell all. I'm just gonna take all of their money, basically. Do I want to buy anything from them? Kind of no. 
So let's go ahead and see. You have business, but I don't hey, think that makes you the business. You have utilities. That's even worse. So hey. business it is. Welcome aboard. It's time for you to leave the Bush League and step up to the majors. Uh, and that did clean our inventory up enough that we should be able to get the third plague art now. So let's go ahead and do... Oh, I forgot there's a fourth one in the area. Well, we should have enough influence now that we should be able to start populating some outposts. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and grab this. Like, every time I get a lot of influence, I keep thinking like, Oh, wow, I've got a whole bunch of influence. But then I gotta remember that a lot of it is gonna be spent on changing bases. And then I'm like, okay, I actually don't have that much influence because I think moving into the next base is going to cost 2,000. And then the base after that is 3,500. So, uh, so more samples, backpack, a knife, bell club, a Mac 10. That sells for a good bit. And bullets. And then we can take all of this. That's a lot of crap to haul around. Oh, I thought I could jump over that. Turns out I couldn't. Uh, we can leave those. Leave those guys in peace. Uh, let me check to see. How are our base effects looking? Training videos? Do I need them? Yes, I do. I'm still, the part of the reason we're playing is Rodriguez is so I know the exact moment when he finally maxes out. Um, oh, let's activate that. We're losing out on influence there. Everything else is fine. Big time morale. I believe we are using both watch TV and movie night. So getting like the huge morale bonuses here. Um, I think what we can do is just go right here and let's just go ahead and drop that stuff off. It's a little bit closer. And then what we can do is rearm and I'm just going to use like whatever, even if I'm only destroying a single play guard, I might, I'm still going to use the set block just because that's supposed to be the whole idea is aggressively using our bio weapons. I haven't even had any hostile humans to fight against to actually use the <laughs> use things more, so it's like I don't even know. Let's throw this here. Um, I'm gonna leave some of that in there because I am actually going to need those. But now we can actually re-gear up. Mysterious stranger. There's some fool here who wants to talk to you about something. That's probably one of those dumb quests that I don't want to do. Let me see. Yeah, it's one of those guys who like, gives you like free samples or something. I mean, like they're not, they, they, they could be okay. Like there's something to do, but I'm not, you know, like we might do it later on. Like it, it does pay out. And depending on how, how hard the task is, it could be worth it. Um, let me go, I need one of these. Honestly, like I feel like Scentblock is the only one of the biochems even worth using considering that the, uh, oh, I'm gonna need more bloater bombs, and I bet I can't make any. I'm gonna need this, and yeah, I'm gonna have to install that. Do we have a replacement is the next question. Let me look at my items of war. You know what? What if we try, oh, uh, explosive fuel trap? Um, let's do thermite grenades. Thermite grenades could be fun. Yeah, let's try thermite grenades. Off we go. Where is the next heart? Right over here. That'll clear the central area. So, we are up to 20 out of 28. Oh man, that's so much less than normal. That's so much better. So it's 1, so it's, that's 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So that means there's 3 that are missing. There could be, we haven't revealed this area. I'd have to climb up on that. And I'd be willing to bet that... Oh yeah, look at this. So we're, we're kind of getting a hint that there's probably one over here. In fact, it's probably right there. And then there's probably one here. That would be my guess. I'm getting sold, they're getting sold out, boys. They're getting sold out. Oh, they're just glad that you can spread your cheer around. Yeah, that's why you want that lounge though. That lounge, it's not just good for training. It's also good for just keeping that morale maxed out. Having maxed out morale does make a difference too. It doesn't just give you more EXP faster, you know, stuff like that. Uh, you also get, where is the heart? I'm about to say, it's not 900 meters away. Like you're lying to me. Are you serious? There we go. Bruh. No. Get off my gear. Uh, the other thing it does is when your characters bring random stuff home, the higher their morale, 
the more likely they are to bring something. Oh, did, look, is this guy in like a little like busted up shack? That's funny. Let me give these guys the squisher. Oh, it's a horde of a whole three zombies. Wow. Great job, you guys. Uh, scent block. Okay, well that's that. Let's try the uh, let's try the thermite on their own. Let's see how well two thermite grenades do. Thermite, if I remember right, its thing is that it lasts a long time. Like, there we go. I heard the feral. You want to go in there and get burned? Good idea. The self-cooking feral. Wow, didn't last. I thought it would last a little longer. There we go. The self-cooking feral, boys. Got a horde coming in. Let me burn them before they can burn themselves. Okay, so um, how many? Like, now's your chance to place your bets, boys. How many bloater grenades is it going to take to finish these guys up? Or, and by that, I mean the um, not so fast now, huh? The play guard. Oh yes, welcome to the cookout. Okay, so I'm gonna throw. I can throw the first one like right. I, I can just you know I don't have to worry about like poisoning myself. All right, so if you guessed one, here's what we're gonna see. Okay, no. Here's two. It took two. Wow, that's actually a little disappointing. And it's disappointing because, I'll be honest, Thermite is not a very common weapon. No, you don't. Now I will get you in the Burneroni. I'm going to push you back into the fire. Ho-ho! Guess I'll squish these guys real quick. I mean, what else were we... I mean, I guess I could have just sold the Thermite. I think that's... It's also a good indicator that I probably should just sell the thermite. There we go. That's one thing that's kind of wacky about the way plague arts increase in difficulty. Like, do you remember there was a time when, like, plague arts were destroyed in, like, three hits by a 50 caliber? Three or four hits, and then they changed it, and now it's, like... It's just so weird why certain things kill plague arts and certain things, like, barely affect them now. So we got samples, we got a backpack, a knife... Metal nightstick, we got another XP5K. We know that sells for like 20 or 30, so probably not worth it. Uh, not probably, it's definitely not worth it. And we got one of these, which means, um, I don't know why, like, I've been doing, I've done like two more quests for the Zed Thumping guys, and I, I don't know, like, I'm just awaiting their next quest or something. <laughs> I, I am getting to the point where I am going to take more extreme measures for dealing with them. But um, in the meantime, I guess let's return to base and we can start plotting out where we're going to put our outposts. And we are home, which means um, I guess I might as well build some more bloateronis while I'm here. And I don't know, make another scent block uh, Let's also get the... Uh, stabilizing foam in, and while I'm here, I will spend a single plague sample to cure that. Let's take a look at our new character, Aaron. Um, looks like Aaron is, I mean, statistically, she's, oh man, standing rewards are pretty nice. She's a warlord, too. Mm, so basically, what she would be good for is when you need to rotate into your warlord and then out, she would bounce back with a standing bonus pretty nicely. Uh, business gives us a little more influence per day, like 35 is like nothing. Uh, it's like finding basically one luxury item and selling it per day, which is like awful. And then it gives us 10% more influence per day. That's like okay, but it's not like blowing me away. It's, it's probably enough to keep her temporarily, but she's definitely not a keeper. Looks like our pyro launcher is running out of ammo. So what we need to do now is, looks like we need more pyro launcher ammo. Let's go ahead and do that. And we don't need training anymore. Actually, she kind of needs training, so we'll just keep doing that since she is like a temporary hire. Uh, so what we're going to do now is look at where we want to place it. So I don't like this one here, so let's go ahead and drop outpost Not number possible. six. And so that one's going to go down. I want two of them in Marshall. Let's take a look at our daily losses. So... Um, we are doing okay on materials. Looks like we're breaking even. Um, so I, I think I want to fuel one just so that, you know, like we're gaining something on fuel. 
I think I do want a materials one. So we could do a fuel one here. And it's also really close to the entrance. So like, it's just in a really convenient place. And uh, we have a material option here. I think I like that. So let's go ahead over here. And I think I want to leave one of them free as a, a throwaway outpost here. for the purpose of just... We need immediate help. One of ours just died and they're still out there. Okay. Pacify them. We can bring them back home. Fuck, I don't know. Okay, it looks like the lab rats have sent us their next... So, like, this is what I'm talking about. What I hate about the Zed pumping guys... Like, I... This is, like, the, the fifth step on their quest. I've done, like, five quests for them. And it's so annoying. It's like, yeah, I could scent block and then like just, or I, I could just throw a bunch of like zombie baits in there. But it's like, it's just such a, like a, it's it's not a waste. I mean, it could be a funny episode to do it, but like I I don't even know. Um, one of their friends died, so I guess they're down a man. I guess I think I can recruit them now. I guess another thing I could do is recruit them and get them killed. Let's see what they want. I bet if I kill their dead friend, they might turn hostile. Nope. Oh, <laughs> that's not, they, they barricaded the windows. And he's running away from me, of course. You know what, since I don't like you guys, I'm, I'm killing your, like, pet zombie. There, now you gotta get a new one. You guys are just gonna let these guys in here? Okay. Spell it out for you. Chong is a Zed now, but she's still our friend. We want her back. Uh, and so here's the thing, even if I say no, it'll just reappear. We can't get close. There's some screamers in the way. We need you to kill them so we can bring our friend back. Like, they, these are, it's Let's like, it. and it's been like this since the, the game came out. the most fucked up rescue mission I've ever seen. It's been like this since day one. Like, they've never changed it. It's just, just so annoying. But, uh, whatever. Like I said, I'm pretty sure if we kill Chang, they'll get mad about it. I think they'll get mad about it. They might get mad about it. I don't even know. Someone said that they pay you a decent amount of influence if you can fully complete their quest. But it's like, I, in this episode, I kind of wanted to move into... The new base. I mean, it's not that big of a deal if we don't, but I don't know. It's kind of like I was thinking about it. It was in. It was in my mind. Okay, we gotta help them retrieve their friend. Yeah, you guys. Um, you guys like fire? I hear fire is a really, really good for retrieving people's friends. I hear those. Are, oh, I think that's them right there. I see someone with a unique looking. <laughs> Every death hurts, but this one's really tough. It is? They were a zombie. Are they mad? Oh, they had a grenade, a bat. Oh, an arctic warrior. That actually, that, that should sell for a decent bit, actually. And then I have a convenient little outpost right here. I don't know if they're going to get mad or not. I, I don't know what's going to happen. Like, I don't think I've ever done it that way. I think I also don't care. Like, I think it's time just for them to go. Um, four jars of zombie. I just have a strong feeling that is not going to cut it. So let's go. I, I just keep playing musical chairs with these. I'm going to see if we can get rid of these guys for good. <laughs> Okay, so when this person, I can't remember who said it, but they gave me the idea. They said just climb up something and then like start throwing them. I bid you welcome. Let's do, are they going to say anything different to me? Why are they just running all over the place? Like these guys are so dumb. How are you doing? See, I could enlist them and like okay, separate them and get them killed. Sure. But I don't know. Let's, let's try the funhouse method. Could, it could be interesting. Probably would have been more effective when they were play guards, but what can you do? Um, here we go. Fire in the hole. So the uh, if you've never used Zombate before, I guess we can demonstrate the effects of it. Zombate essentially just makes really loud noises. I mean, that's like the mechanic it uses. 
and it makes the zombies, uh, makes them come over. So here they come, and oh, I mean, it wouldn't matter in this difficulty anyways, because zombies are not affected by, they're not affected by, what do you call it, distractions, like distractions don't affect them. Good, once we get a screamer here, the screamer should be able to just generate more enemies for us. And it'll kind of make my job a little easier. As you can see, like, they are, at present, you know, it's just the beginning of our, like, custom siege. We got two screamers. We got, like, even if they get one of them, we got, like, a redundant screamer. Come on, zombies. Like, you're always, like, get them with all of your effort. And then when, like, I do, okay, let's throw another one. There, here's another one. Now the catch is that, okay, maybe I can get this screamer to notice me. Hey, no, no, they're just mowing all of them down so sad. They just. Okay, plan B. Oh no, it say it ain't so. Is Fox attacking the precious play guard that the zombies have left completely defenseless and most certainly will not come to try and save it? Oh no, did I accidentally burn it and cause a bunch of zombies to appear? They certainly won't be enough to defeat this extremely powerful hero. Oh no. Oh, oh God. Why would you do attacking me? That is not how it works. Okay. You're gonna do fine in there. It's all part of the plan. You guys are the Zed Thumpers, right? Don't you like zombies? Isn't that like... Isn't that like your thing? Like, I've got faith in you. You're gonna be fine. Come on. You can do it. Get in there. Show me what, show me how you thump with the best of them. Okay, yes, getting burned by fire. Impressive technique. Oh, he, he was like, he was giving her a chance. Oh, it's the duel of the century. Oh, the head stab technique, I know it well. Oh my god, like the the voodoo technique stabbing in the complete opposite direction. Oh my god, he's got it, he's got it, he's like, he's a cheat. Oh my, this is where people would say you're a cheater. You're like, you're like using the same move over and over again. Like you're like, all you do is spam Hadoukens. Oh, that's a miss. Oh, that's also a miss. You got hit by the counter attack, even though you weren't, ca oh, she's still in the fight. Oh, it probably can. Oh my god, she's still up. She's still fighting. I, I can't believe the Feral is still alive, too, considering that we, we honestly did do quite a bit of damage to it. Oh, need some fire. I hear fire hurt. I hear fly, fire health condition. Okay. Well, you know, now that I'm here, I might as well. If it ain't the heat, it's the humidity. Might as well, you know, finish the job. Where is it? Okay, it's right in there. Kind of a awkward spot. Let me get a little farther back. One. Oh, detonated. I threw it right. There we go. Okay, we'll come back for some more fun later. I'm just gonna burn you because of video game violence. And it's time to go get our, our other buddy. Uh, I need to like, I need his assistance. Yes, I need his assistance. And we're here we are at the gasoline stadium. Now we will see man versus zombie. Yes, Fox certainly wouldn't just go in here and just attack a play guard with scent block on like this, would he? He wouldn't just give him the old shaboodleroni, would he? Oh, that's right, this one doesn't have a high impact rating. It is inferior. Wow, those sure are a lot of dots. Come on, why do you gotta do this? Why do you gotta do this? 
Why you gotta do this? Oh, he, he doesn't know it's me. He's on my side now. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna lure him over here. I'm just gonna make some noise. That, that'll get their attention. Oh, the bush is in the way. Come on, Zabi, do you not see that guy? Or does the scent block also apply to him or something? Like, the zombies are acting like they don't see him. Like, does the scent block, when I apply it to myself, does it also apply to him? Yeah, like, they're, they're, they're acting, they're reacting to him the same way they would react to me. Like, they're not beginning to fight unless... I should have brought a weapon with a scope. Oh, he got the feral. You know what I can do, though. What if I just, uh, mosey on in here and just start doing this? What are you gonna do? I'm sorry, are you hurting? We'll have some more. A little bit more. You doing okay out here? Look, you just have to defeat all of them. It's all you gotta do. Like, the AI has so much health compared to me. It's so crazy. Going for, like, the the false swipe into, like, the machine gun attack. Like, we can learn something from this guy. Going into, like, crawl into the... Curl up into the fetal position. Oh, he's getting the, uh... Get your head bit off by a feral position. Oh, my God. He didn't actually die. He... He went to the shadow. He used his last bit of energy to go to the shadow realm. Oh my god! Like what a incredible technique! Like only a Zed Thumper, only a Zed Thumper could narrowly escape death in such a way. All he left back, all he left behind, was this pack of his items that I am now taking because they were actually mine. Like they were never his. They were always mine. Come on! Now to like this thing is so banged up that I should be able to just swing it at it. There we go. Hey, I got an offer for you. You want yeah. Yeah. No. There we go. Yeah, that's right. It should learn from Do Do Doug or right. Do 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 Long, whatever his name was. And I've made it back to base. The Zed Thumpers are no more. More meaning the farmland compound is now available to us. I check this out. So since I've been using the lounge and leveling people up. Erin has her cardio, and look at that. She can pick from all three of them. She has, like, every single one of them as an option. Also, uh, I went ahead and did the siege. I mean, you've seen one siege, you've seen them all. We got uh, 270 influence from it, so we got an extra 30 influence. So, I don't, it's like, I'm not saying, like, the bonus influence is, like, amazing, but there could be something to it, like, just as a way maybe to, like, what would you do, like, once you have all of the skills, like, what else would you get? Like, normally you'd get something like recycling or something, but what if you just got a bunch of, like, influence stacking and just, like, farmed influence? Because, like, ultimately, like, what I would be buying is, like, more skill books and stuff, like, retraining manuals. Like, the main thing I would want is more influence. I don't know. Food for thought. Anyways, let me know anything down in the comments section. I will claim the base uh, next time. Probably next episode we'll be moving in there when we have, you know, a fresh amount of time to do it. Anyways, yeah. Let me know if you like the video, please like and subscribe for future 8K2 content. Of course, remember to be good to get good.